All right, so we are on our way to do a roof inspection for a homeowner. He called um, wanting us to come out and do inspections. He's hired a roofing contractor to do the actual work, but he's hired me to go out and do a couple inspections to make sure the roofer of his choice is actually doing what they're supposed to do. So we're in route now, and uh, we'll be getting there in another couple minutes. And uh, when we do, we'll start with the uh, inspection process. We're gonna be looking at um, how the roof is being tore off and the plywood spacing as they renail the existing deck. We're also gonna check to make sure they are replacing any rotten wood as needed. So we're on our way. We'll be there shortly. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're en route to this job. This is day one. They are removing, in this case, a tile roof. So what we're gonna be looking for is, number one, wood rot. As they remove the tile down to the actual substrate, which in this case is gonna be plywood sheeting, we're gonna make sure that the uh, plywood, if there's any rotten wood, gets replaced. Uh, we'll make note of fascia at that time as well. And in the event there is no rotten wood or if there's rotten sections only, then we wanna make sure that the existing roof deck is being nailed to code properly. So that's what we're gonna be inspecting right now, this first job that we're going to. Um, and then we're gonna talk briefly to the homeowner, let them know where the roofing contractor of his choice stands um, day one of his project. So what we're looking for right now is the uh, nailing pattern. Um, the nails are spaced properly. I'm gonna look for a box of nails to determine the actual length. Um, you can't always tell by the heads of the nails. So I'm gonna look for a box and um, I've already taken a couple pictures while I'm up here. The existing roof type real quick, this is a um, tile that simulates a Spanish S look as far as appearance. And this tile is all nailed down. So you have thousands of nails um, in this roof because it's a nail down system. The new roof will be a foam adhesive that uh, secures the underside of the tile this time so you won't have all these nails going through this roof. So let's go grab a box of nails real quick and uh, see what these things look like. Eights, so looking at it. So you got two and a half inches on the box that's opened upside down, but they are eight nails and then the other thing that you want to look for you want to make sure that in our situation where we're at that they are uh, ring shank so these are ring shank nails you can see down here real quick um, where the plywood's been replaced and then down below i'm going to show you as i was coming up the ladder you can see a lot of water marks in the existing fascia where water was getting behind the underlayments and running down the face of the fascia and i'll show you that when we go down the ladder but as you can see, a lot of the plywood has been replaced already along the uh, edge of the roof. So what I'm looking for right now is just to make sure that this plywood is not um, soft. And it's not. It's been, you can see the watermarks on it. Um, but the plywood itself, the integrity of the plywood is still good. Um, so there's no need to replace it. Okay, one thing I wanna go over too real quick is how this roof was actually installed. So this is the 30 pound felt. Um, this was tin tagged to the plywood and it would look like this. 
prior to it being mopped. And this is the 90 pound tile underlayment that was hot mopped using hot asphalt. This goes over top of the 30 pound. The two essentially are married together. The biggest problem with this roof type is over time, this material is very similar to an asphalt shingle product. And over time, this breaks down, especially in the valleys or at the edge of the roof, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. This product tears very easily. And so in about a 15 to 20 year time frame, the roof is, it's, it's reaches life expectancy. So that's where we're at with this roof today that we're doing the inspection on. This is a 30 pound hot mop, 90 pound roof system. And um, it's obviously reached its maximum life expectancy. So that's why it's being replaced today. And you can see this is a galvanized uh, drip edge. You can see where this is starting to rust. So in the event this next roof lasts longer than a 15 or 20 year time frame, we are gonna use aluminum drip edge this time and stainless steel nails so that this rusting doesn't occur on the uh, new roof. Just wanted to point that out. The other thing I wanted to mention when I was on the roof that I wanted to point out um, when we got back down was these watermarks all along the fascia. So at some point, water was getting down behind the 90 pound and running down and it was getting between the drip edge and the fascia. So this was caught at the right time. If this would have continued, the fascia would be rotted here at this point. And that's why all this plywood along this bottom edge was replaced due to the fact water was getting behind, the plywood was wearing down, it was breaking down, and so it was replaced. Fortunately, the uh, fascia so far is still in good condition. So the next piece I'm bringing out, I just wanted to show you guys, um, since this was laying there, this was that, that plywood along the bottom edge or one sheet. And you can see how the uh, water was breaking down the integrity of the actual plywood itself. This is the 30 pound that I was showing you on the roof. This went down first. This is the 90 pound that was mopped over top. And you can see how brittle this is. I'm breaking it with just my hand and pressure against the back of this, this plywood. And then you can see up a little bit closer. Um, yeah, you can see the back where the water was running down behind. And as the water ran down behind, that was the uh, water marks that you're seeing along the fascia as a result of the water getting behind the underlayments and then behind the uh, plywood as well. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap up the inspection process. Um, I made note to one of the guys there that the plywood, they have the plywood along the edge of the home right now, they've ran it further than the fascia. So I want them to cut it back so it's flush with the fascia so that when the uh, drip edge gets installed, it's not running in and out. So that when you're looking down the side of the house, you don't see your drip edge um, like a wave effect. So they're gonna do that. Um, I checked for the permit. There is no permit on site. So hopefully the uh, roofing contractor did his um, job. I have the homeowner checking for me. He's gonna send me a copy of it. Then we're going to be checking with the county to make sure their inspections are called in and signed off um, during the process so that we can make sure the owner gets a uh, final inspection and um, all his paperwork that he needs for proof of release of lien, etc. So that's it for now. We're on, another, on our way to another job right now to uh, inspect it, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's go. Hey.